Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Osaka, Japan and looking for a cheap hotel. Osaka is a very popular tourist destination and in fact it's one of the most toured cities in the world. It's well known for its delicious food and its people who are said to be the most outgoing in Japan. There are a lot of ways that you can find cheap places to stay in hotels, but in this video I'll be going over the four ways that I have found to be the best inventory to price compare cheap hotels. So be sure to check out the video description for all of these links. The first way is going to be through Airbnb. This company allows individuals like you and me to list bedrooms, apartments, or unique living situations for rent. So if you're staying in Osaka, this might be a really good way to find somewhere special to stay. Also, not always, but sometimes the price may, may be better than a hotel. Cheap options are available such as tents, bedrooms, and even couch options. So this is really great for high cost areas and it's also a good way to meet locals. I have the Airbnb website up and on the homepage it automatically has the field where you can enter your destination, which I've already entered in Osaka, Japan. You'll put in your check-in date, your checkout date, and the number of people that need accommodation and then you'll click the search bar. And then you'll be given a list of all of the places that you can stay. The second way to find cheap hotels in Osaka is through Hotels.com. This company has a really good selection of various hotels and they've even started putting in some apartment Airbnb style listings. The neat thing about this company is that they give you one free day for every 10 days that you book with them. Here I have the Hotels.com website up to show you what the main page looks like and just like with Airbnb, it automatically brings up the page where you can enter your destination, your travel dates, and the number of rooms that you need. Then you can look at all the options and compare to decide which one is going to be the best for you. Also be sure to check out the video description for the most recent promotion since that could change from time to time. The third website that I would recommend to find cheap hotels in Osaka is Booking.com. Booking.com is one of the largest online booking websites and it has around 28 million listings worldwide in 229 countries, so you're very likely to be able to find a few options no matter what part of Osaka you'll be staying in. Again, I pulled the Booking.com website up as well, and as you can see, it follows the same format as Hotels.com and Airbnb. So you just fill out the fields on the screen to find the best cheap hotel in Osaka. Um, now they do have discounts from time to time for properties that allow it, so be sure to check a few weeks before booking to see if the price goes down. The fourth website that I have found is one of the best places to find cheap hotels in Osaka is TripAdvisor. Now this is a pretty cool website, and you may have already used this website to review and look for interesting things to do in Osaka, but they also have a huge selection of hotels that you can book with. It's easy to use and they pull information from a lot of different hotel booking websites and the nice thing about TripAdvisor is that you can check real reviews from other users and they even have photos taken by users of the hotels so you can get a truly objective view of what to expect at the hotel. For the link to TripAdvisor, you can check the description below but I also have this website pulled up and for this one, you would just need to click on the Hotels button, which is located in this menu right here towards the middle of the screen. The Hotels button is the very first block. You'll click that, and then you'll enter your destination in the search bar, and then you'll put in your travel dates and the number of rooms that you need. I do also want to make mention that with all four of these websites, you have the option to filter your result list and sort it from lowest to highest price. This way, you can see all of the cheapest hotels in Osaka first and not even see ones that may be out of budget. So those are the four ways that I have found as the best ways to find cheap hotels in Osaka. As you saw, all of the websites are very easy to use, very intuitive, and all four also have apps that you could use. Um, the interfaces for all of the apps look just like the website, um, so they're just as easy to use. But what about you? Do you have better or different ways that you find cheap hotels? If you do, be sure to let us know in the comment section.